Alright guys, welcome back to Path of Exile in the most busiest fucking town ever. Uh, I'm gonna actually put on a different uh, filter now. Uh, never sinks my boy, so we're gonna use his instead because I'm tired of the default one. Uh, you just download it, Google search or whatever. Or, uh, you know, we should, we, sh we should use a different word for, for searching things on the internet. We should use... Uh, uh, I, I, if you say Bing, it's, you sound like a fucking piece of shit, so... You really do. Uh, I don't know. It, Duck, duck, go, <laughs> fucking <laughs> something. Because Google is just so 1984, right? Yeah, they are. All right, let's go to Twilight Strand and do um, Pat's Pat's mama or Pat's grandma. Sorry, uh, mama. It's it, it's mama Lily Roth. Mama Lily Roth. So these guys are a little bit interesting enemies. So if I actually stand in that, if I don't move when they when, they, when I kill them, they kind of run at me and kill me. Although apparently. They're going after my minions more often than you, actually. Actually, I'm gonna just check up here real quick, because there's always. Oh, yeah, because Lily wants us to completely clear the beach. Yeah. Dear old Lily Roth. Just old Mama. Yep. So she wants us to clear the beach. So these are actually like so now the beach is actually a bit different. It's got the uh, noble dead deads instead of like your typical zombies. Uh, they're actually. I mean, uh, they're still zombies. They're just wearing fancier clothes. I mean, pretty much. And I guess that brings up the topic of what Act 6 is in this game. So, what they decided was, so Act 5 was the new content. Uh, I mean, this is technically still new content, but it's they're kind of uh, reusing a lot of the uh, assets, clearly, from before. Oh, here we go. Oh, Life Flask. So now things are highlighted nice. slightly differently for me. But anyways, um, they're clearly reusing a lot of assets in... Uh, uh, in the game. So, by the way, these are highlighted because they're upgrades for flasks in case I need them. So the guy, the, the Never Sink Man was nice enough to to do that for us. Um, but yeah, so, you know, it's, the, the story is completely different. The paths to get to between the acts are completely different, but it was kind of like their way is like, um, instead of you having to play through the, the, the standard game again, um, it was kind of their way of making like, um, like, because as I said, it, uh, it's either that or the game would have just simply just reset from Act One again, spent. and that may have been like kind of annoying or something. Oh, there's a whole area up here. Yeah, coming. Oh, I heard something drop. Ooh. Oh. Well, that's kind of a sad drop, actually. What was it? Uh, because you you can't use swords. I mean, what do you mean you can't use swords? You can't use thunder with swords. So, are you dumb? What, Maybe? What kind of dumb are you? I'm like five kinds of dumb, I think. I think you are, because I can use swords. I don't have to use Sunder. I just oh. wanted an upgrade oh, for my, my weapon. I don't even know if it's that much of an upgrade, to be honest. I mean, I, I'm, I'm going to try it anyway, so... Oh, shit, the guy's hitting me. That guy explodes. He's got some big souls. Alright. Fucking can't use swords. Well, you kept Watch talking me. about. Oh, okay, fine, whatever. You kept talking about how you're like, I, I, I'm gonna use thunder. It's gonna be great. I'm gonna use thunder for now. <laughs> yeah, well, apparently now you're not gonna be using fucking thunder. So go figure. I said I wasn't gonna use earthquake though. Oh, fair enough. I hate you, Pat. Thank you. I hate you a lot. Is it? What's the quality on it? Do you uh, need wet stones? Oh, on the on the sword. Should I put? quality on that? Well, I don't know why Why not. I guess. I mean, if you're going not. to use, I mean, it's all physical. Sure, fine. I have like seven whetstones, I think. We got eleven. Uh, I, I don't know if it's worth it to do that. I have ten, sorry. Fuck it. Fine, we'll just quality it. I guess I'll be using it for now. We'll, we'll, we'll see if it's actually a damage boost or not. Um, I mean, it is. I can already tell you it is, because my current weapon has less... <laughs> Like attack speed and DPS and stuff, so mm, yeah, eh. it's way much of an upgrade. So yeah. All right. So this is why you go down every side passage and kill everything and open every box, because God knows what you're gonna find in them. So uh, by the way, whetstones only give one percent quality when it's already a unique item or a rare. Uh, Two percent if it's a blue item. So we have decided we're using Rigwald's charge. It's a nice weapon for at least uh, a great deal of the game. Now the mid game, at the very least. Yeah. I'm gonna put left slam here. All right. 
So I have it right now with last rate, mul faster attacks, multi strike, and m melee physical damage support. That seems all right. All right, we'll put uh, we'll put that in the back burner then. All right. So now we have a giant fucking sword. I, th I think I think this I think this warrants changing our, our sword skin actually, because because that's important. Now we're gonna have a sword that's on fire, because that's fucking cool. Still alive. Huh? Rickwold's fire. All right, let's go see Stay what uh, let's see what Lily Roth has to tell us. Mama, call her Mama. Oh, well, it's your Mama, not my Mama. Oh, okay, fair enough. Where the fuck is she? Yeah, she's over here still. A wretched sight. So many drowned Oriathans cast into undeath. You freed them from their torment, and I'm sure they'd be grateful. Here, that little something extra I were talking about. Though the sea takes away, it gives back in greater measure. While you be skulking about, I've managed to do a bit of hunting on my own. Got a hole full of baubles and trinkets here, which I managed to, uh, procure. Take a look. You might find something particularly naughty to help you on your life's voyage. Alright, so we can also buy things for like, um, I don't know, I guess I should just go buy a spectral throw, but she becomes essentially a gem vendor now for every single gem that we didn't get. So. D does she actually start selling them after you talk to her or like that? Or? Yeah, that, I mean, that's what she said. She literally said after, like, you know. Oh, yeah, dude, you can just straight up talk to her here. Yeah, that's what I mean. So, I'm trying to see if there's any good sword, uh, sword abilities that is worth trying. Reeve, no, because that's one-handed. Viper Strike, no. I mean, Wild Strike t still technically works. I'm trying to see if there's anything else that would be like really cool to try. Elemental hit, no. Frost Blades, meh. I don't like Frost Blades. I mean, we could try it again, but yeah. Eh, especially now that you've got multi-strike, it could be worthwhile, but yeah. that's entirely up to you. It's gonna be the last time we fucking do this, by the way, guys. Phaser and wild strike, charge dash. You can do sweep. Sweep? No, I'm not doing sweep. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck sweep. It just sounds boring. Actually, we could do static strike too. Actually, I, I I had it before, and I think I just sold it or something, or maybe it's in my my thing. I don't know. I don't even know. All right, I think I think we're pretty good with all the all the shit that I have. All right, so so yeah, Pat. What it, uh, so what's your opinion on the game basically being like, uh, kind of like we go through the same content again, kind of, you know, in a way. Well, I mean, they mix it up. There's new enemies. That's not exactly the same. It's similar, but I think it's I think I think it's a good thing. I mean, I, I really do. I, I think it's good because it's like you've been here before, but think everything is different, kind of thing. You know, the enemies right. are different. Oh, that's. Oh, sorry, it's pretty fucking baller. It, I don't, I don't know how I feel about it yet. I mean, it's fast, but not very high damaging. Mm, it's not, yeah, it's not the weapon. It's not the weapon though. It's the totally like lacerated within itself, and I forgot about that. <laughs> uh, well, we can try a spectral throw instead. Oh, I can't multi-strike that, so. No, you'd have to get LMP. Don't worry, I have Mame. Oh, wait, yeah, you're right. Uh, we're gonna get LMP from. <laughs> uh, go, go get it from Mama. Jesus, Fuck. dude. I forgot about LMP. Alright, so. I'm just now at this that's point. That's green. Yeah, uh, that's okay. I have, I'll just remove faster attacks or something. Uh, where's uh, LMP? Oh, lesser. There you go, that's for multiple projectiles. Okay. So I'm showing you off some skills just because, uh, I mean, we got a nice sword now, so. I mean, I could just go back to Wild Strike as well if it comes down to it, because Wild Strike is going to be really strong right now, actually. It's going to be strong all the time, I think. Yeah. No Cyclone. I, I, I'm tired of Cyclone. <laughs> if, it, if, it, if it really comes down to it, we can just do that. So here's this is how you create like an ethereal version of your weapon. It isn't count. It doesn't actually technically count as a melee uh, ability. So I don't think I actually benefit at all from from this actually. What do you mean you don't benefit from it? Uh, it doesn't count as a melee damage. It, it's still physical damage. I mean, technically, yes. 
What do you mean you don't? What 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 do you mean you're not benefiting from it? What, I, what I, benefits I you have? I, I have melee damage. I don't know if that counts. Oh yeah, it. no melee damage does not count. So. All right, so we're gonna just drop that now on the ground. So you can have those. Uh, we can try frost blades with faster attacks. Sure, let's do that. And multi strike. Yeah, I have. Uh, do I have that on? No. There you go. Okay, so now we have this. This one might be slightly better. I, I was just showing you that Spectral Sword is a thing, but it's not for this build, actually, so I just kind of realized that now. That's actually not that bad. That's <laughs> actually pretty neat. And we can even get a Threshold Jewel for this if we wanted to. See, my only thing was I didn't like facing bosses with this thing. That's the only thing. Eh, it seemed to be working out pretty well. Oh, good to sacrifice that dusk. I mean, it's okay. As I said, it seems to be. Uh, what else did I on it. Uh, I, I think I don't like lacerate. I won't lie. I think I, I think I'm just not into lacerate. That's fine. I, I, I felt like it would be good for your class, mainly just because you'll eventually get like increased AOE. Whoa! What? Just, this dude just popped up beside me, and then you kept hitting him, and he almost killed me. Oh. Oh, this guy? Oh, wait, wait. He's oh fucking, my he's killing god! Me too. <laughs> What's my resistance at right now? Not good, actually. Let's get some fucking resistances. With, uh, endurance charges. What the fuck does he do that for? He... <laughs> he's just exploding constantly. <laughs> <laughs> that was so horrible, dude. I think he has Volvolt himself. Yeah. That's uh, the one that, like, the more you hit him, the more he explodes. That was actually pretty bad. <laughs> there's, a, there, there's a Harbinger behind us. Oh, is there? Where? Back here. I like Wild Strike actually a lot. What, what, what happened to Ice? Uh, for Frost Blades. I like this better. Why? I, just, I don't. I don't get you. I mean, Frostblaze isn't bad either. It's more range, though. I guess. Fine. Fuck it. I'll turn on fucking Frostblaze. I, I, I love Frostblaze, though. I'll try it again. Just cause I nice always have, but you know that. All right. Let's go check out the new, uh, the new title island. Am I getting a movement speed buff from this sword? I totally am. And accuracy rating. Oh, accuracy rating. Oh man. That's gonna fucking do everything for you. Actually, this is pretty good. I mean, I just like I. It, it seems to be really good for clearing. That's all I'm saying. That's that's all I'm gonna put out there. <laughs> it's just like the fucking fact of just like swing my sword at them. It's fucking great. All right, this isn't bad actually. You're right. That's never really wrong. So. I understand. Wild Strike has its own problems, though. Ah, uh, this is Riptide. I am dodging that attack. Riptide is dead. Bastel's manuscript. Maybe because he thinks he's like an artist or some shit. Is there anything else we actually want to do on this island, or no? Uh, not particularly. Can I just go around it? Yeah, we might as well. Not like we're having Who knows, we might there. find another sword. I was extremely lucky at getting this. I mean, I really don't feel like it's that much better than what you were doing before, to be honest. I mean, I was killing everything in one hit anyways before. Yeah, I don't. as I said, I don't know if it's that much greater, actually. I mean, it's it's a change of pace, let's be honest. Yeah, fair enough. Alright, uh, what? Oh yeah, I'm still going for life. I think I think after the, that Catalva fight, I'm just going to probably stack life until the end. Build. Yeah, that's probably for the best. Because now things are getting actually difficult sometimes. I'm actually like dropping in health. Alright, yeah, go ahead. Open her up. What is the threshold? I'm about, get, I'm about to get my last aura nodes, and then it's just gonna be life from there on out for me too. What is it? What is the threshold uh, jewel for this do? Uh, it gives. I think it gives cold damage penetration. Mm -hmm. Since what Frostblades does is it converts a large portion of your physical damage to cold damage, so then it like penetrates resists. So All right. that's a thing. 
I, I may do fro a Frostblades build, actually. I'll see how it is against bosses, but I don't know. I may, because I'm, I'm close enough to do that kind of shit, actually. I, I think if you were going to do Frostblades, you'd be better off as a raider, but... Go fuck yourself. Or a ranger. Oh, fuck are you. I still think Sun... I, th I still think Sunder is better. Which is why I was really hesitant about the sword. Wait, what, what does Frostblades work with? Just swords? No, uh, just bladed any, weapons. Any, no, any, not, any weapon. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. I'm thinking the Sunder only works with, like, certain things. Frostblades can, can be used with, like, daggers, even. This is kind of janky, but it's fun. No, the worst part is when we started this up, Mike. I think you'd be. I think you'd really like a frostblade. I, I, and I said I wasn't sure, so I wanted to keep it open. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm just saying. I I, I understand that like wild strike is kind of meh. It's the problem. I still like but... wild strike. Oh shit! Maybe I shouldn't stand in the fucking fire. Yep. Yep. She is a bitch. It's a fucking dishonored queen. Because those fire lines are lowering our fire resistance even more, and then she's like bombing us. Alright, maybe I should get him during Strike next, actually. Dude, fuck that bitch. She has I just, love, I just love how fast you attack. That's actually the, the that's actually the fun part about this. It actually clears nicely too. So, oh wait, we just, yeah, so we just killed someone on the beach for no reason. It's uh, missing Aya into a Kuri Fortress, I forgot about that. Did we even get a quest for that, or is that just something we found? I mean, it's something we found. There's a door here. You guys kind of recognize this place. This is the place with all the Roas and shit, right? Uh, where we, where we yeah. had to do breaking some eggs before. And but the Kuri have taken it back over. Yeah. Nah, this has corrupted blood. Can't do this just yeah, that's prob that's where all my minions have gone. Alright. So let's go. So the harbingers are getting a little bit tougher actually. Oh, that's good, they were easy easy peasy before. I think it's also the fact that our resistances are garbage isn't helping either. Yeah, mine are uh, well mine are actually not as bad. Oh Ness is up there. Oh. King of Brian, and he wants me to be. Oh God! Is it... Please, I don't know how I'm doing this, nor if I may again. Help me, help us before he, before. Oh, this is a squid bitch too now. It's all come full circle. It's all come for full circle. But you see, like they added like a bunch of huts now on the on the beach here. Well, I mean, there was ruined huts before, so they basically just rebuilt. Oh yeah, I should say but, that the place where, sorry, the place we were at just at was the underground water passage, so we can't go there for some reason. Uh, I mean, it's filled up again with water. I wonder what happened there. So it's it's really like it's not. This is not just Act One all over again. It's actually different. Like, oh, we got to go somewhere else. Like, there's different stuff. I mean, it's like, what else do you want? So okay, my, my question is, where do they keep getting this red wood at? I don't know. Anyways, we're entering... I haven't, seen, I haven't seen very many trees, much less enough trees to get, like, because so, this is mahogany, right? So, so, Pat, what's the deal with Kuru Fortress? This wasn't in, uh, this wasn't in Bud Flats before. What's the, what is this place? Oh, all the Kuri from Namakanui, now that the gods are back, apparently, have decided that they're gonna, you know, roost back in Rayquest. Yep, and, Go uh, figure. And, huh. So this. I is, wonder who's leading them. So this is actually the fetid pool, uh, and the fetid pool. Is, by the way, what the hell is causing all the frozen ground? That's fetid. me. Okay. So uh, this is the fetid pool, uh, and it's been kind of removed of corruption because we did that quest for that guy uh, a while back. He asked us to clear it because there's like a necromancer in here. And you? So now it's like all like growing and shit. So. Like a shitty swamp. Pretty disgusting, actually. I mean, it's it's getting rid of the corruption. Though. So it's kind of neat. They just uh, they've updated different places with this kind of stuff. So. I wonder if there's still pumpkins in here. How would there be pumpkins? 
There was pumpkins before. You're a pumpkin. I hate pumpkin, actually. I, I like how something was meant for me to get hit by, and you fucking take a shit ton of damage. Yeah, pretty much. I'm taking a shit ton of damage, too. Yeah, my fire resistance is not up to snow. Actually. Oh, I'll I bring just, her back here. I just, I just picked up a card. I don't want this card. I can't do this just yet. I'm like, I'm trying to buff myself with everything I have, just because it's now like is actually difficult. <laughs> yeah, and I'm using rallying. I'm using as much shit as I can do, to be honest. There we go. All of a sudden, the, the game becomes now tryhard mode. And now there's a Tukuhama's Keep in the middle of the island oh, here. Oh man, me teach you the laws of war. The laws of war? Oh my god, that hurts so bad. So that's why I like the old mini bosses. They have a lot of these now, by the mini way. Mini boss. This is literally the god of war for the Kuri, and you're calling it a mini boss. It's a mini boss. How fucking insulting is that shit? Mike, destroy the totems. I, He's got a giant bubble on him, Mike. How dumb can you be? Come on. I mean, I, I just thought you were doing it. I mean, I can't... Like, I'm multi-striking. They're, they're every... The, the totems are everywhere. I just assume... And they keep respawning. I just assumed that, like, I would be able to, uh... Like, it would just chain off of him, but whatever. Because cross blades. Yeah. Fair enough. Alright, here we go. Korea Fortress exit is now unlocked. That's oh, total crap. I am Sin, thief of virtue, and it is mine to take what I will from the defeated, to make a gift of it to the victorious. Alas, your mortal frame cannot withstand the unfettered fire of deism. It would turn your blood to mist and scorch your precious flesh black. So choose modestly and choose wisely. For there is much more at stake here than your little hopes and dreams. Alright, so they added a, a Pantheon system, and it's like, um... This gives, gives me 2% additional physical damage reduction for each second I'm stationary up to 8%. So, I mean, meh. we have nothing else yet, yeah, it's meh. I mean, we're not playing builds that are going to be standing still all too often, so... That's more for, like, channeling builds and crap like that. Oh, yeah. Which is a thing. It is a thing. Which is a thing that I like to do that Mike hates. I'm surprised you're not doing it this thing, honestly. Or uh, I haven't gotten around to making a channeling character yet. <laughs> yet. Yet. But soon. Alright, well soon. now now there's a new place to go up onto the ridge. Uh, so now there's like a... Instead of ledge, a ledge we have ridge. But, ledge. Uh, hey gonna... Mike, are you gonna rest by the... Oh, no, you already left, never mind. I'm, am I gonna what? Never mind. I'll make the joke when you come back. All right. Well, I'm gonna talk to Bestel. Marvelous. Oh yes, yes, it's all here. <clears throat> Act one, scene one. Along the shoreline, the beach grass sways. A blazing sun sinks neath sparkling bay. Oh, strange be the night when the drowned dead rise and a pale moon ascends upon cold skies. The stranger still is lost to me. Those silken pillows upon which I lay at sea. Moody. That was very. Not as funny as I remember. But I'm sure it gets better in Act Two. Regardless, you have. My thanks. Please, take something for your efforts. And next time you're in town, do come and see the show. I'll leave your name at the door. If I can salvage a door from somewhere, that is. <laughs> oh, well, there's uh, belts and amulets. I, I, I went for a leather belt, because life. I mean, I would too, but I have that prison weave belt. Eh, but how good is it really? Because it's adding flat damage, and you have a lot of, like, base physical, don't you? Good enough that I'm going to take a turquoise amulet for, for some intel hinte, because my amulet is still shit right now. Fair enough. It doesn't really do a whole lot for me, though. And I, it also removes all my shit from being able to be used, so... Good shit. 
All right, talk to Tarlik. You've seen Nessa. Talk to her. Well, that's more than I dared hope for, truth be told. This change she's going through, this curse the so-called Brine King has put on her, it can be broken. I know it. You've got to keep going. Follow her trail before it gets any colder. Make your way along the coast, the ship graveyard, even Mervale's cave if you must. By my reckoning, this king's not the sort to venture far from his briny bed. You've killed the Karui war god. Can you kill a god? Look, I can't even begin to understand what you've just done. Bestel will be able to put our gratitude into words more fitting of a legend. Me, I'll work with what I know. A solid reward for a damn fine deed. And skill point. Farewell. Right. Well, that's pretty good. Also, the, the subtitles totally didn't match up what that guy was saying. No, it didn't at all, did it? <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to call quits here, guys. So uh, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Goodbye, everybody.